So in some sense, we want Spore to be this very rich toy box. When you open it up, you know, there are all these different places you can go, things you can make. You know, the game occurs at all these different scales, from the very tiny cellular, all the way up to the very large intergalactic level. At Cell, you know, it's almost like a kind of very fluid game of Pac-Man. You're moving around, there's squishy, weird creatures that you're interacting with. When we get to Creature, it's almost more of a first-person shooter. And that's also where the creativity of the creature editor becomes kind of really upfront in terms of the wide variety of creatures that you can create really drive your playstyle. Now once you get to Tribe, you're dealing with a whole group of these creatures and you're actually giving them tools. Music, healing, stuff like that. And you have much richer, deeper social interactions both within your tribe and with neighboring tribes. When you move into Civilization, at this point your creatures are getting more advanced technology. You're actually on the entire globe designing whole cities, as well as vehicles. The strategies that you're pursuing can be things like military, economic, religious. The type of interactions you have with your neighbors get very political. It's a lot of moving parts at that level, and it gets very intense. The next level, the last level of the game, is the space level. Once you basically unify the planet in the civilization level, you then go out to space. And once you get to space, it opens up, and it's a very broad set of metagames that you can pursue. You can pursue, you know, an economic trader kind of identity, you can become a conqueror, you can make a lot of alliances, or you might just be a very creative person who want to go around creating new planets, terraforming them, bringing in life, and even sculpting the planet's surface, you know, with your UFO tools. Each one of these levels kind of has a very different feel, but uh, they're all connected, and the tools that you learn in one level are very similar to the tools you use in the other levels. 